This is a quick video on installing a Ubuntu server. We'll cover downloading the ISO image file and creating the USB flash drive with Rufus. And then we'll walk through the process of installing the Ubuntu server. Once we have the server installed, we'll update everything and install Docker. It's pretty straightforward, so let's jump to it. First, we need to download a few tools. So let's Google search for the Ubuntu server. Select the first download link here, and we're going to use option three to download the Ubuntu server ISO image. And then while this is downloaded, we need another program called Rufus. And then if you don't have putty, let's go ahead and download that as well. We only need the exe file. Go ahead and insert the USB drive you will be using. And now let's go ahead and open up Rufus. And let's select the image file that we just downloaded. Leave everything as default and click on start. We will be using the recommended write method to write our ISO image file. And then OK to format the drive. And this process speed will vary depending on your hardware. Now that we have our install drive, go ahead and insert the USB flash drive we just created into your Ubuntu server and then boot the server off of the USB flash drive. Once you're booted off the USB flash drive, go ahead and select your language. And then we're going to select install Ubuntu server. From here, let's go ahead and select your language. We don't need to update the installer file so we can continue without updating. Confirm your layout and variant keyboard configurations are correct and select done. Take note of this IP address here. This will be the IP address we use to SSH into our server later on. If you have a proxy address, go ahead and enter it here. Otherwise, select done. Ubuntu Archive Mirror can stay default. Go ahead and select Done. In my example here, I'm going to be using the entire VirtualBox hard drive. And just to review the storage configuration, everything looks correct. And go ahead and select Done. And this is to confirm this is going to format the drive and destroy everything that's on it. Enter your name. Give your server a name and enter a username and a password and done we do want to install the open ssh server this will be how we access the server later on for future projects we don't need to import any ssh identities unless you have one go ahead and do so otherwise leave this on no and select done we will install Docker later through the command line interface, so we don't need to do it here. So go ahead and leave all of this blank and select done. And we'll let it do its thing. And now go ahead and select reboot. Be sure to remove your USB flash drive and then select enter. And this will reboot the, the server. We can do everything else remotely via a terminal window. Using PuTTY, let's SSH into the server using the IP from earlier. Use the credentials you created during the server setup. And the first thing we need to do is update the server. This command will install a few prerequisites to allow APT to talk over HTTPS.
Now we need to add the GPG key for the official Docker repo. Add the Docker repo to the APT sources. And now let's update again now that we've modified the repo. Confirm the Docker repo. And we can see it's at download.docker.com. So now just install Docker. Now to avoid using sudo every time we run a Docker command, we need to add our username to the Docker group. And let's reboot the server for the changes to take effect. And that's it. Ubuntu and Docker are installed successfully. My next video will piggyback off of this one, installing Sonar, Radar, and a torrent client that supports the major VPN providers. Be sure to subscribe to my channel so you don't miss part two. And as always, thanks for watching.